Have you ever wondered if the very roots of our evolution could be the barrier to our survival? It's a question that a recent study led by the University of Maine is grappling with, suggesting that some key features of human evolution may indeed be hindering our ability to solve global environmental issues such as climate change. Quite the paradox, isn't it? The crux of the study lies in the exploration of how human society's use of the environment has changed over our evolutionary history. It has been found that human groups have progressively used more types of resources with greater intensity, which in turn has had profound environmental impacts. This expansion of our resource usage has been made possible by cultural adaptation to the environment, allowing humans to colonize all habitable land worldwide. However, this expansion has come with a price. It has relied on large amounts of available resources and space, commodities that are now running low. Our cultural adaptations, particularly the industrial use of fossil fuels, have created dangerous global environmental problems that threaten our safety and access to future resources. The study also found that sustainable systems tend to emerge only after groups have struggled or failed to maintain their resources. Strong systems of environmental protection tend to address problems within existing societies, not between them. It's clear then that to effectively tackle the climate crisis, we need new worldwide regulatory, economic and social systems. We need a functional global society. However, the study suggests that cultural evolution among sub-global groups may exacerbate resource competition and delay action on shared priorities, making global challenges like climate change even harder to solve. The researchers propose further research to better understand the drivers of cultural evolution and search for ways to reduce global environmental competition. Despite the challenges, there is hope. There is hope that humans can solve climate change through cooperative governance and intentional systems of mutual self-limitation. So, while our evolutionary history may have led us to this environmental precipice, it might also hold the key to our survival. To sum up, this study presents a thought-provoking perspective on the intersection of human evolution and climate change. It suggests that our evolutionary history, specifically our cultural adaptation to the environment, is a double-edged sword. While it has allowed us to thrive and expand, it has also brought us face to face with potentially catastrophic environmental issues. Yet in the face of these challenges, there is hope. There is hope that through cooperative governance and intentional self-limitation, we can overcome the obstacles that our evolution has placed in our path and ensure a sustainable future for all.